What's good with y'all boys? Watch you keep blazing up in this joint. You feel what I'm saying? We got a code name Super. No said, man. Let's get into it. Yeah. It's time. Oh. Crazy prank to stop for it. But hey, if y'all want some more code name super or anything else, you feel me, anime related, your boy, you feel me, your boy is a geek, so we will get into just about anything. No diddy. So uh let's get into it, goddamn. I'm gonna talk about Jiren. I knew he was trouble when I saw that crimson chin bill. And the shit he did in essentially 48 minutes was crazy. So before we get into the first main fight, let's talk yeah, about the light snacks. Covering. That boy Jiren had to flex on him real quick. Had to show he's a part of the ball demon. I'm talking MJ, Kobe, Saitama, Not Krillin, Aang, Kratos, and Megamind. Y'all get the point. And the first person to experience his power was Broleisha. She was out there wrong. You ain't had to sneak Megamind in there, my brother. He don't count. Putting Goku in the Hulk animation and even taking out one of the Pride Troopers. Did that boy dirty. Took him out and started screaming to let everybody know what just happened. And then after that, the camera pans to Jiren's squad and they're just all posted up. Every one of them acting unfazed of the power she's showing off. But she ain't fooling me. I saw how he did your dog or whatever he's supposed to be over there. You all can't be like that. that There's some frauds word, up there who are not really trying to see her in the ones for real. But hey, I can respect y'all for locking in for the photo. Unlike Krillin, he could take a few notes. Jiren is standing there, arms folded and eyes closed, and look at how he jumps off the block. Nah, he's really one of the dudes that be trying to make anything they do look cool. Cause it doesn't end there. He catches Broleisha trying to off her own sister and stops it. The blast sends her up and he turns around, arms folded, hitting that legendary finish. Jiren knew it was cold too. He even looked at the camera to see if they got it. So the next Dorito bag was him. Bro was so irrelevant, they didn't add him in Sparking Zero. And they be adding anybody. He tries to sneak attack Jiren, but this boy comes in and takes him away. Talking about some, I got this. But honestly, I'm still questioning how Bro was in front of him. He started off jumping behind him. Why is he over there now? The kick has him sliding to the rock, and this bow sends a blast that leaves a DJ Khaled sized bite on Another one. Have Bro on the wall like, please, have mercy. And Dispo's a real dickhead because he's just like, I got you, bro. Jumps up, does a whole backflip, and kicks him in the face. Kurt, if you watch it, you know what I did with Dispo. We can run the fade after this, but you know what I did with Dispo, goddamn. But Lil Bro had some IQ on him. He just like, psych! And then catches him like how Vegeta did boot. This shit gave me PTSD. He slams him to the ground, and it was looking like he was planning to do him like Jason Todd with no crowbar. Had him screaming like he got sentenced to five nights at Diddy's. Tabo's just like, he seems to be struggling. And I cannot lie, that build is crazy. Like, what were they going for when they drew him? That build and mustache just make like it could be Dr. Eggman's grandfather. But Jiren stops him in his tracks. He's just like, I'll handle it. He takes a couple steps forward, and his aura alone made him de-equip the scissors. Dispo sees that he's distracted, and uses this opportunity to escape. Jiren squares up, and he tries to do his best Luffy impression, increasing the size of his arm, but the second he swings, Jiren takes a step back and pushes him away. Shit, did he- Quick question. I have not watched no One Piece, bro, and my sister's been telling me to tap in. Is that shit like that? Or like, I just been seeing a lot of, bro, this shit long as hell, dog. And come on, bro. I just need like a quick summary of that motherfucker because I'm not finna watch through, bro. You you know how Goku all and not Goku, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, bro, the talk no jutsu on all this shit is crazy, bro. I'm not trying to listen to all that, bro. So with that being said, all my anime people, bro, please let me know, like, is it genuinely worth the watch? And if it is, fuck it, I'll do it. But if it's not, I digress. Even touching for real. The force just pushes him out the arena and he wins like that. Then we see Goku watching shook, but we all know that's not gonna stop him. And hey, look at the time. They're up next. So at this point in the tournament, Jiren's teammates are selling him. I know a Cavs 2017 roster when I see one. Look how many people are out. Jiren and Toppa are out there like Kyrie and Braun, and it's up to them to save their universe. Goku starts it off by firing a Kamehameha at Jiren. And Jiren's just standing there unimpressed. He would have thought it was a final flash that was thrown at him. He stands there and stares at the beam. And the Supreme Kai from the other universe is just like, he's sorry. 
and you just know he had to pop out with that weak ass cut shit spans across multiple universes this is what happens when you don't be yourself Goku hears them clowning him in the crowd so he had to up his power on him he charges right at Jiren but it still does no damage he even acts like he doesn't see him he trying to create a new archetype the nonchalant bald head that's a great idea he goes super saiyan 2 and this time it actually moved him. and if you notice each time he transforms he breaks a barrier first he was hitting straight aura Second, he actually touched him but didn't move him, and now his attack actually moved him. He skips three completely and goes to God one, which gets him a block, but it's only with one finger. And he continues to do this with all of his attacks, and that gave him flashbacks of when he did it to Trunks. He didn't want to give him any more auras, so he stopped and backed off. Said, alright, bet, and starts yelling right in front of him. Jiren was so unimpressed he looked like the anime Stephen A. Smith, but I still had hope for Goku. They gave him that clean blue animation the same one Vegeta had, and then he does a standoff with Jiren. And I'm not gonna lie, the last time we saw some shit like this, it was Gohan vs Boo, and that shit did not end well. Goku <laughs> starts it off with a punch though, starting off strong. It sends him into the rock and he puts- Bro, y'all niggas did Gohan's uh, story map in Sparky Zero, Jesus Christ, bro. Why is his move set trash? I'm talking about you gotta spark it, you gotta charge the spark it every time. And don't get me started on Goku when you gotta fight the goddamn ape, bro. Vegeta, I, 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 I kinda see why Frieza, I ain't even finna say that. I ain't even finna say that. Pushes him through it. They come out and start boxing, and I just had to see if they got any hits in, in this exchange, so I slowed it down. Jiren Wee? kicks, he misses, and Goku punches hitting Jiren's arm. Jiren lands a kick to Goku's stomach and tries hitting him with the punch and misses. Goku throws a punch, he dodges, and then connects a punch to Goku's face. Jiren dodges and hits him with the left, sending him flying off, and this is where the combo gets lethal. Jiren teleports and stomps him down. Then he kicks him back up, making him move at the speed of light, that ends him with a two-hand slam to his gut. And Jiren was really moving belligerent. He's laying there and Jiren teleports to him, grabs his leg, and hits his head on the wall, trying to give him that CTE. Then he swung his body around, and Goku is fearing for his life right now. After dragging him through the rock, he ups the Kaioken, trying to kick Jiren's head off, but he dodges and grabs his leg again to throw him down. He manages to recover, but look, Jiren is already on that. So my son Goku had to hit the quick time event to narrowly escape. But he was fast to go on the offensive as he charges a quick Kamehameha. Had Jiren off guard, but he ends up flipping out the way and jumps at him. That boy Goku was not trying to get hit with that grab animation again, so he started running. By throwing burst key blasts at him and jumping away. Jiren eventually catches up, grabbing his leg for the third time and throws him down. And honestly, bro, I'm feeling bad for Beerus. His best player is out there getting cooked and the opposing coach is in his ear making fun of him. I would have put up the dukes right there. At this rate, we're about to get erased anyways. Who gonna save us, Vegeta? Goku comes back up with a vengeance and Jiren is not scared of him. He just blocks his attacks and sends him back down. And they started to box throughout the whole arena. But keep in mind, flying is not supposed to be allowed, so what am I looking at right now? There's no way them boxing from here to there is all one leap. They end up going into the sky and Jiren gut checks him and punches him back into the ground. Shit was looking grim. Jiren was out there living Vegeta's dream. Walks up to him while he's on all fours and steps directly on his spine. Yeah, this shit got Beerus on life support, but Jiren wasn't done violating. Cause then he proceeds to grab him by the hair, look him in the eyes, and tells him it's over. Gut checks him again and blasts him away, taking him off the arena. And Jiren thought the job was done, so you know he had to hit the celly on him. But Goku was still in the fight. He was able to hold on to the ledge on like Mufasa and get back up. Had the crowd hype as hell, but Jiren wasn't letting him get that one cold moment. Goku charges at Jiren and he tickles him with Bluetooth and sends him away. And this causes him to go to his last resort. He de transforms, jumps up to a high place, and we all know what's up. The last time he couldn't beat an opponent, Goddamn he brought out this very attack. He requested for everyone to give him energy, and they do. Gohan, Piccolo, the androids, and not gonna lie, I would have never expected to see his evil ass contribute to a spirit bomb. And you know what's crazy? The dude that has a whole family back on Earth says, nah, fuck that, and decides to not help Goku beat the strongest opponent in the tournament. He'd rather die than help him up his 1v1 record. That I respect the hate though, crazy, but he's bro. not all bad. As Rebaran, the person who's one cheeseburger away from death, tries to snipe Goku. She was ads and everything, and Vegeta ends up taking care of her. But the energy Goku had wasn't enough. Goku was just like, damn, if only I had a little bit more time. 
side eye and Jiren, and he's just like, very well, I will wait till your attack is finished. <laughs> Goku gets more energy from the people in the stands, and I'm not gonna lie, if I'm the other universes, I'm straight up snitching. You telling me they're out of the match and they're giving more energy to help Goku? Fuck no, baby! <laughs> I'm calling the Zenos to come get him. The ball of hope is finished, and it's time to see if Jaren got that dog in him. Goku throws it at him, and Brody does not move a muscle, which was sign number one. Goku was cooked. It finally reaches to him and stops, and then we see him push it away with one hand. And that's sign number two. He's cooked. Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue, and Jaren is like, eh. Let me use two hands on no, pushing yeah. it back to end Goku. <laughs> so he ups the Kaioken and it stops it, but it wasn't enough to push it back. So he had to hit him with a times 20 and it successfully moves towards Jiren. Wipes that nonchalantness off his face and now he got to put in that elbow. He sends it back and Goku watches the ball roll towards him and he's just like, <sighs> this is all I got. <laughs> he used every form and every move that he thought could defeat him and now it's over. He's getting put in that interstellar cutscene and gets eviscerated from existence. The clown is just like, see, told you, ain't no one fucking with Jaren. Nah, no way Goku lost. And this clown is laughing and emoting right next to me. My nigga CJ, hey, if you know, you know, dog. If you know, you know, bro. Very goaded, very goaded. Shut the fuck up with that atrocious ass cat. Restart, nigga. Damn it, Goku! I will not lose to a nigga whose hairline starts at the back of his neck, Goku! Get your ass up! Please! Get up! <laughs> The ground starts shaking and for some reason, Android 17, 18, and Frieza have one of the hardest flicks for no reason. A ray of bright light comes in, this lets us know Goku respawn. And now it's time for him to face Jiren in round two. He sets his eyes on Jiren, but he can't see shit though. Or is blocking his vision like some dude with dreads. He rushes Jiren at the speed of light, and it has the crowd shocked. This is low-key some type of glaze because Goku didn't even hit him. Like really look at them. You would think Goku hit him out the ring with that attack. Goku hits a flip and makes direct eye contact with Jiren. And that shit was making him uncomfortable. So he tries punching him and he smoothly evades. Hits him with the spin move and they both clash. Goku's gonna hit a step back into the pit and Jiren lets him down. But he's not concerned about that. He's so astonished at his power he's just looking at his hand and automatically leaves Jiren to keep so blazing. He manages to graze Jiren and that was enough to sound the alarm. And the pride troopers rush to his aid. And I remember watching like, nah bro, this is really crazy. Jiren was beating him, stepping on him, and damn near killed him. But one small scratch really caused him to get jumped. Nah, the pride troopers got no honor. They try attacking him simultaneously, but this is free eats for Goku. Saw the both of them and started emoting. He finally got some people to cook up for a chance. He catches both of their attacks and tosses them away. And then Toppo started key spamming, uses his fingers to fire multiple blasts at Goku. But he's just walking through it nonchalant. This angers Jiren. Causing him to hit the King Baldwin to stop Toppo from doing this weak shit. And keep in mind, he's not the leader for his universe or the Pride Troopers. So how you getting done like this, big bro? And nah, I had to take a look at this picture closer and I'm shocked. You can't be the leader and not be in front of your own formation. All I'm saying is Captain Ginyu not letting this happen. No you may be stronger than him, but you don't got the respect. This is a violation. Anyways, they understood he had to do it himself, no Thanos. And Goku rushes Jiren, dodging all of the attacks, which is clean and all. But what did he do when he had the ball in his court? Nothing. Put up straight bricks. Because he starts attacking Jiren and gets each one of them blocked. They take it to the sky and again, I don't know how they're doing all this without flying, but okay. At this point, Goku feels the Ultra Instinct running out, so he tries to end things. Hitting Jiren with that double Falco knee. And that shit made his legs look inflatable. And then hits him with the Kamehameha sending him down. And that boy Jiren suit came out cleaner than ever. That beam gave him that full wash. <laughs> After that didn't work, Goku does a Hail Mary of an attack and just says, Hey, fuck it. Jumps off the pillar and does the Superman ass punch. And if we freeze the frame on Jiren, we could clearly see that he's not impressed. The collision with Jiren causes this big ass explosion. And when the smoke clears, we see Jiren is holding Goku's punch back with one hand. He closes his eyes and sends Goku on his way. And Hit, who was lurking in the shadows, tries to sneak in mid pose. But Jiren still wasn't caught lacking. And this moves us on to the next fight. It was one of those to watch out for. So when I saw him go straight for Jiren, I thought we were getting back to back peak fights. 
he was able to beat Vegeta and Goku. But I know Champa wasn't trying to see this, and I understand it. Look at Universe 6's team. Other than Hit, it's straight role players. No so his best option camp. was to definitely camp like the worm well, to hey, the end um, of the match. We're not gonna disrespect Cabo, bro. Come on now. Psh, fuck on with that nigga. But here we are. Jaren's clearly playing with this food as he takes bro's arms and makes him twirl around on this Looney Tune shit. He tries punching him, but Hit time skips. Moon walks behind him and tries elbowing him, failing miserably. He has hit on straight defense, but that time skip's reliable. He uses it to escape, tries attacking him, and time skips again. Goku's in the back taking a peek at this fight, and the two Namekians attack him. And this is how I found out Piccolo was a light skinned Namekian. Shit kinda threw me off guard to see that he wasn't affected by the great shift. Hit teleports just to meet Mug Jiren, and he tries sneaking in with a time skip, but gets red like a book again. He's gonna try something slightly different though, as he hits a double time skip, but he just ends up getting hit square in the face. He tries tripping Jiren, but he jumps up and does 30 flips. And his dumbass is just standing there looking up to get hit with a double kick to his stomach. Bro just likes taking free damage, I guess. Hit teleports and Jaren was there every step of the way. And he just was going crazy. And Hit was looking by that code, I'd rather go 0 for 30 than 0 for 9. Because you go 0 for 9, that means you stop shooting. That means you lost confidence. Yeah, bro, anything but passing the ball. But since it's Hit, he's losing brain cells. It turns out Hit doesn't have CTE after all, and was only spamming the time skips to learn Jiren's timing, just like a Wukong boss. Oui. So now it's time for all that pain to mean something. Hit throws an attack to distract Jiren, makes him block, and ends up teleporting behind him to land a direct hit. All he had to do was see one go in, literally, because the attack pushes him back through the rocks and near the edge of the stage, and it traps him in this time prison. Hit thought it was checkmate, and with a move like this, it should be over, right? No, nigga! <laughs> Jaren starts moving and defying time itself. And this is the shit I be talking about. Dudes really be asking, nah, how's Goku gonna get past Infinity to hurt Gojo? Like Dragon Ball characters don't be doing straight BS in the show all the time. Hit's all original plan was to keep the him time, there until the bro. end of the whole tournament. But it's clearly not happening. So he takes Gohan wanting to fight fucking Cell prolonging the fight. Then Goku had to kill himself. Takes a chance and goes for the finisher. Jumps up with his fake ass Rasengan, and Jiren blocks his attack with the glare of his eyes. Like, what? The nonsense didn't end there, as he was fully able to move his arm and crush his attack, escaping the prison. And Hitch just looking like, How? Hold on, bro. How? <laughs> how you, I'm saying, how? Like, talk to me, bro. All hopes of Hit winning the fight is officially done now. I know Champa's seeing this and is falling to his knees. Jiren attacks him and is looking like he's firing straight LMG rounds at him, spamming him with the attack and it flings him away. He crashes into the rubble and Jiren teleports to him to finish the job. The blast sends him up, much like his first victim, and he hits him with the same emote again. Oh I, I see niggas could just walk through time now. Man, fuck this shit. Man, my here come the plate man, man. Chompa, ready to yell. You telling me I give you a hundred million dollar contract? I give you the keys to the team just for you to lose before fucking Ribrian, nigga! <laughs> you know how crazy that sounds? <laughs> That's not saying Kaisen that won't hit a three the entire game just for him to grain that motherfucker at the end. What well contested? Get the fuck off my team, nigga! Oh, relax. <laughs> you wasn't winning shit with that creative team with $15 ass lineup anyways. Just shut the fuck up. I know damn well Party City Joker is not talking shit from across the arena! After Jiren cooks four opponents straight, he asks Toppo. Nah, that is serious. So who's time left serious. to fight me? Uh, just Vegeta, big bro. Vegeta? Yeah. Wake me up when this shit over. Y'all got it. Understood, big bro. And you're probably wondering, damn, he got his guard down, so why doesn't someone just push him off the stage? And someone did try that. They were just too sorry. This man right here jumps at him, tries punching him, and gets blocked off by pure aura alone. And the worst Your part is, they didn't even try to kick him off the stage for that. They just let him take the walk of shame away. Well, let's get into the next altercation. So Goku and Jiren were running the ones again, and it was looking like it was going to be a round two. But then out of nowhere, Vegeta comes in and starts attacking Jiren, and he's not impressed. He looking at Vegeta like, Whose mind is this? You put him on the TV. <laughs> he elbows him and throws his head straight into the ground, making him eat straight rock. As he's knocked down, Jiren ups the key blast, looking to take him off the Save arena. The then Goku saves him by kicking him away. And then he charges right at Jiren and he hits the dumb dumb gathering. Bro, you are not Luffy. The last punch pushes him back and causes him to dribble off the ground twice and be in pain. 
Jaren gives him no room to breathe as he TPs and clashes elbows with him. Then he bonks him in the head and peep how he does Vegeta. This is how you know we're reaching new lows. He's gonna go in running and yelling and gets hit with the back kick. Sent away with no eye contact, nothing, just pure disrespect to the prince. Goku tries getting back with an uppercut and gets kicked away. Vegeta recovers by hitting the gay dog sit, jumps up, gets his leg caught and gets spun around and tosses him away. He lands and flies right back at him and Jiren hits the gum gum gadolin. But what Jiren doesn't know was Vegeta was studying this very attack and he sees right through it. I thought he was about to get ultra instinct, no having ready to switch up like KD. Even the punch itself was leaving an imprint on Jiren and he was looking shocked. What? Thought he was out there doing something for real. Beerus and Whis weren't helping either. They were talking about some, is he knocking on the door? But that shit was all cat. They have to change the animation for him getting his ass beat. Vegeta does multiple flips to make us forget about the slap. Chris Rock should have taken some notes. Vegeta fires the Gala gun and he casually just backhands it away. Then Jiren runs into him, looking like Cash Nasty posting up Kenny Chow in the paint, straight fouling. Jiren then punches him and that shit was sculpting his face like some clay. Gets a clean hit to his jaw and it was all going wrong. He goes into the air and smacks right back down, hitting the reverse Kevin Gates. And it sends him to the edge of the arena and explodes. This shit had Vegeta looking crazy. Before he got into the fight, his fit was clean. Now it's all cooked. Even got a chip in his armor. And the way he was standing, I could tell he's about to start yapping. And he did. Nah, fuck this shit. I'm tired of you, Jerry. You're strong, six foot, probably fuck so many bitches. And don't have to worry about having a shitty hairline. I hate niggas like you. That's, uh, Ulu Awal. Fuck, bruh. Man, I be telling Cooley to fucking watch this dude all the time, bro. He be sleep. Hey, bro. W video. W video. If you're really like that, don't move a muscle. But you know, that move doesn't do shit. Shut up, Kakarot. Yeah! After that happens, Jiren does the most evil shit he's done all day. So the smoke clears and we see that he's laying there pretending to be down. This makes Vegeta drop his guard down and start laughing. Mind this knew the fight was over, but not in his favor. Jiren teleports, completely wiping the grin off his face and puts him in a ball of pain, just straight torturing him. Jiren just looking at him like, yeah, where all that laughing shit now? And Vegeta just explodes. The next scene, he falls down into the floor, creating his own version of the Yamcha. Nah, this is sick work. And of course you know Jiren had to end it off with sick. a back turn. <laughs> Doing this in front of two Super Saiyan Blues is insane work. He basically called both of them a bitch. I turn my back, nobody gonna do nothing, nigga. You fucking crazy? I'm so, oh. so sick of him. It's so fucking safe in here, nigga. I can turn my back, I do whatever the fuck I want, nigga. Who the fuck gonna do what? It didn't even stop there, cause look at the Zenos. Wowzers, Jaren is so cool and radical. I'm not done. I'm talking about spectacular, collacular with a bachelor. Let him cook now. Give him a spatula. <laughs> but yeah, you really know Goku's outmatched when he starts using his brain for real. So for his first idea, he goes around using instant transmission to plant landmines to maybe, just maybe, get an opening on him. It doesn't work though as it explodes and Jiren shows off his 90 inch vert. He jumps all the way up in the air. Then Goku charges up a destructo disc and throws it at him. That's too easy for him though. As he punches four of them and takes the last one and holds it like a frisbee. Look at that form. His ass could I'm be Michael the whole logo. He throws it at the platform Goku's standing on and makes it fall over. And Goku leads him to the edge of the platform. Then he tries slide tackling Jiren, making it flip over and go to the very edge. And now Goku has him right where he wants him. If Jiren comes back, Goku tries to punch him, gets his arm grabbed, and Jiren punches him square in the chest. And as Goku is falling, Jiren's about to go for another hit. And this is where he makes the high IQ play. He uses the Destructo Disc to cut the platform Jiren's standing on and makes him fall off the map. That's what I'm talking about. That's that hidden IQ we be having. And he got Krillin in the stands looking like a proud father. Goku teleports and says fuck you and spikes him down. My boy Goku really thinks it's Smash Bros. But as Jiren's falling down, he has that inner Spider-Man dialogue. It's time to get up. Somehow makes himself light enough and strong enough to jump off this small ass pebble and continues jumping off the fallen debris like Spider-Man and gets back on the arena. That shit had me lost as hell, but hey, let's just move on to the next fight. So Jaren comes in walking through the extra landmines Goku placed to flex on him and show him that he got no effect on him. Not even the drip, still clean as ever. 
That shit is some high quality fabric, gotta be made by Virgil. He then rushes Goku and hits him with the right, jumps after him, and then Goku hits this, uh... What the fuck? Yeah, bro, don't ask me what that is. But Jiren catches the leg and throws him down. And then he's just gonna get up close and personal for no reason. After that, he tries hitting him with the ground pound, and Goku creates space away from him. And Jiren really cannot stop flexing, because he throws a punch so strong, that it made Goku lose hope. He transforms right in front of him, oh, and he's just staring at him like, The fuck was that plan was supposed to <laughs> Now that Goku's guard was down, he just started hitting him with Bluetooth attacks. Got bro hitting the Mr. Crocker, <laughs> and then he gets slammed into the wall. Doing bro breezy. Vegeta had to step back in with that low battery pose, and now they start transforming. Goku goes Kaioken, and Vegeta digs deep and goes Super Saiyan Bluer. Look at him walking Bluer. up first, bro. We see the form. They start their drone attack. They were actually doing good. The attacks were pushing him back. But as you know, looks are deceiving. Because they ended the joint attack so. with a final flash and Kamehameha mixture. And it connected, but it does absolutely nothing. And with shit like this happening, they had to add another member to the jump session. And I'ma save that for a part two. Thank you for 561k. We moving. Also, I got a gaming channel now. Y'all know the first. Hey man, goddamn links to the original video will be in the description. If y'all do want some more code name super, feel me? Definitely let me know. Cause uh yeah. Definitely come on now. Shit is funny, bro. But yeah, man, y'all be safe out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Get some water, uh go touch some grass, man. It's it's a lot out there.